Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Lamex FX. So, I had to redo my Dark Souls video again. So, to make sure you still receive your video every two weeks, like is my schedule, here is another episode for Assassin's Creed. Why Assassin's Creed, you ask? Well, Assassin's Creed 2 takes place between the Dark Ages and the Renaissance. So, if I continue to talk about this game series, it will eventually be on the same topic and time frame as Dark Souls. So, in the previous episode of Assassin's Creed, we found scientific evidence that memories of your ancestors can actually be passed down from father to son. Also, we found a biblical explanation for why. And this time, we talk about the bleeding effect. The bleeding effect occurs when a person uses the animus to access his ancestors' past memories too much. Now, there are two things that happen as a result of the bleeding effect. The first is the character gains access to the abilities of his ancestor, moving as the character moves, attacking as the ancestor attacks. For example, Desmond gained access to Altair's eagle vision and starts a fight in the way that Altair fought. Now, the second thing, and the more detrimental thing, is that sometimes the character will have trouble differentiating between his ancestor's memories and his own, because the life of his ancestor starts to bleed into his own life. All right, now that we know what the bleeding effect is, we are going to explore how the bleeding effect can occur in real life, and why it occurs in real life. So. Let us begin. To understand how the bleeding effect can occur in real life, we need a real life example of why it started in the first place. And the reason why it started in the game is the animus. And the animus allows one to access his ancestors' memories. In the simplest term, the user is experiencing history. In other words, the bleeding effect occurs when a person reads a lot of history. Now, since Assassin's Creed uses an Apple of Eden as its MacGuffin, or story item, and Eden is a word found only in the Bible, and my channel is about finding the Bible in video games, let's get a biblical scripture that says to learn history. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 7. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he shall show thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. So the Bible tells one to consider the events of past generations, which is exactly what the animus does. It lets Desmond access or ask Altair what has happened in the past. But what if you didn't have your direct father or you didn't want to ask your direct father what about your grandfather or your great grandfather they are your fathers right if the bible says to ask them and they will show you history how can you ask them when they are dead isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 seek ye out of the book of the lord and read no one of these shall fail none shall want her mate for my mouth it hath commanded and his spirit, it hath gathered them. So the Bible answers that you should seek out of the Bible, the book of the Lord, for these kinds of answers. The reason is that despite what people think, the Bible is not a book of poems and philosophy. It is a book of history, a history book. So if you want to know about ancient history, the Bible will tell you. It is the book of your fathers. It is the animus. Now, if the Bible is the animus, then it can cause the bleeding effect, just like the animus. But why will the bleeding effect happen? Well, the rest of the verse says, no one of these shall fail. That means that whatever is written in the Bible is not only history, it is prophecy. These are things that will happen in the future, your future. After all, history repeats itself.
Now that you know that the Bible is the animus, let us explore the biblical explanation for why the bleeding effect occurs. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Now, we've all heard this phrase before, there is nothing new under the sun. And now we know the full context of the phrase. It is the things that are done in the past, called history, shall be done in the future. In other words, they repeat. In other words, it becomes increasingly difficult to tell the difference between your own life and the history you read because what you read is happening to you now. For example, during the Grecian captivity, the Greeks had freedom of religion. However, they made it illegal for the Jews to practice their religion, which is Judaism. And if the Jews did it anyway, the Greeks killed them, even though the Jews were at peace with them. And you read, you read about that in the Maccabees. Now, when the Greeks became the Romans, because they're both Caucasians, the Romans also had freedom of religion. But because the Jews began to value Christ as their king and practice Judaism with the belief on Christ, the Romans starved them out and killed them, even though the Jews were at peace with them. You read about that in all of the New Testament. Now, imagine if you found out that the Jews were black people, like you looked in history and that was revealed to you. That would make history a lot more interesting because around 300 AD, Constantine made it illegal for these blacks, the Jews, to practice real Christianity. Real Christianity is still Judaism, except with Jesus Christ as the reason you keep those Judaic laws, which is how they practice Christianity during the New Testament. And because the blacks practiced Judaic laws, Constantine killed them. Now, about 1,200 years later, in the 1500s, the Europeans had inquisitions. In these inquisitions, they were looking for black Judaizers. In other words, blacks who were keeping Judaic laws. And if the blacks did keep these Judaic laws, these blacks were starved out, enslaved, or killed. Also, in the 1800s, in America, still Caucasians, it was illegal for blacks to read the Bible. And if they did, they were killed. And now, in 2024, yes, this year, America, Caucasians, the descendants of these Romans, set embargoes in Africa, trying to starve out the countries. Why? because certain African countries have made it illegal to practice homosexuality in their country, which is according to Judaic law. In other words, Caucasians still hate when black people keep the Judaic law because they're not doing this in Arabia where homosexuality is illegal. They're not doing this in Russia where homosexuality is illegal. They're only targeting black people throughout all of history they always targeted black people in this specific manner this makes finding out that the jews were black interesting because now you know why and for just how long caucasians have acted in this way toward you so when you see it you start to see the pattern and you think it's only a matter of time before they try to kill us again because history repeats itself, and the memories of all the millennia that Caucasians attacked your race begins to bleed into how you view them today. That is a bleeding effect. But why? Why does history repeat? All right, now we know that the bleeding effect is when you begin to see the patterns of history. But now we want to know, why does history repeat itself? Well, remember this verse, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. So we explored that this verse explains that, yes, history does repeat itself. But the subject of this verse isn't history per se. History is not that 
thing that hath been, that shall be. Instead, there is another verse in the Bible, in the same book though, that explains what the thing that hath been is. And when you know what it is, you will know why history repeats itself. It is Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 10. That which hath been is named already, and it is known that it is man. So the Bible says, the thing that hath been is man. A man hath been, so he was born, and he is that which shall be, meaning he will be born again. In the Bible, that is called regeneration, but we will call it rebirth. We will call it rebirth because the root of the word generation is gen genus, which means to be born. It is also the word for gender. So if anyone tells you that what you're born as is different than what your gender is, that is a lie based on the etymology of the word. Gender literally means what you're born as. Anyway, we will call regeneration rebirth because it is a more common and well-known word in this day and age. But in any case, regeneration is when a soul is reborn in the earth again. As an example, John the Baptist was the soul of Elijah the prophet. You see, the disciples asked Jesus the Christ why the scriptures say that Elias or Elijah would come first, especially as he had been dead for centuries. And Jesus answered in Matthew chapter 17, verse 12. But I say unto you that Elias is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer at them. In other words, Jesus Christ was saying that Elijah was already reborn. And the next verse tells you who Elijah was. Verse 13, then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. In other words, the man that hath been Elijah shall be John the Baptist. We also see this occur in the game. For let's look at Altair's face. You see it? Now look at Ezio's face. And now look at Desmond's face. Do you see that they all have the same scar on their lip? is because these three are not only of the same bloodline, they are also the same person. The spirit of Altair was born again in Ezio, and when Ezio died, the spirit returned and became Desmond. And since they are all the same person, they all made choices that caused them to get the same scar. In other words, history repeats because the people who made history in the past are born again, and they make the same choices presently that they did in the past. That is why someone afflicted with the bleeding effect cannot discern between the past and the present, because the people from the past are on earth now performing their past actions. And just like those afflicted with the bleeding effect seem crazy in the game, you would seem crazy to your peers, for you see, Knowing history will change how you act. When you become to recognize your enemies, you will move and speak differently. You'll become more cautious, more reserved, and more importantly, you'll become more observant of your surroundings. In other words, you will get eagle vision. This is important, especially for minorities to know, because that means it is a lie when people say, I had nothing to do with slavery, that was my ancestors, they did that, not me. Because they are their ancestors, and given the chance, they will persecute you again. Because that man that hath been is the man which shall be. And that which the man has done in the past life is that which he shall do in this life. And for that reason, there is no new history under the sun. Now, speaking of which, in the next episode, I will tell you about Pope Nicholas V. No way, that's wrong. Pope Alexander VI, also known as Rodrigo Borgia. Let me try that again. Rodrigo Borgia. Yeah, there we go and why he was so eager to enslave the Native Americans. So, like and subscribe, and leave a comment.
and I'll see you next time on The Mech's Effects. <laughs>